today we have Lona Mpongoma from famously from um, Makoti. Are you the one? And then Nganele. Hi, Lona. Hi. Thanks for joining me. It's a pleasure. Thanks for making the time. I know we've had a lot of back and forth, but I really appreciate it. So good. So, how have you been since we last saw you? I feel like. You were like one of the most talked about people in your season, the first season of Magotia, you the one. Right. You and your then partner, mm-hmm. I don't know where you are now, you and your then We're partner. Together. Usi <laughs> po. Oh, really? Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> you and your then partner, Usi po. Um, okay, so first let's start with how did you end up on the show? How did you end up on Magoti? are you the one? How did that come to be? Uh, with Makoti, are you the one? I could say it was just a blessing that was meant to happen for me because um, there's a lady I knew um, called Vuyo. So she called me and she was like, hey, I just found out that there's this thing happening. And then I thought of you because I know how you feel about your relationship. Because mm-hmm. I've always felt like Chloe and Kayla in my relationship. Okay. You know? <laughs> so she was like, don't you? And I like, you know find out if it really is Shlomo mm. and Mkele mm. or is it just you having mm. it in your head. So I was mm. like, okay, cool, put me through for that. And yeah, the rest of the pro- I didn't believe it at first because mm. then even when I told my partner that there's this kind of a thing, he was like, I like no one would do that, you mm. know, because also when they talk about it, they'll tell you that, okay, uh, when she told me about it, she was like, there's also this kind of uh, remuneration involved, mm. you know. And then Sipo was like, I saw it. Like, mm. there's no such thing. Mm. And I mean, who are we to actually have such a thing coming to us? Mm. You know, we didn't believe it mm. until the 13th of August, that same year, mm. when I got a call from my content producer and it was my daughter's birthday. So I was like, uh, we can just please put it on and then it was also his uh, birthday on that same day so he was like okay I'll call you later and then until like it was just a, a, a process Nyana. Mm. you know here and there I'd be like okay now they're not calling back again probably they, they, they've they changed their mind mm. you know and then they'd call back again a week later maybe with a new question mm. or to update me on how the process is coming along and then until um, I had to actually stop working I didn't believe it because I still hadn't thought that I was actually going to go on TV. So then I had to call and confirm with the person from the production company. Good to hey, Sissy, like I'm about to take a paid leave. Like, is this real? You is know, it actually yeah. happening? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was like, no, just trust, come mm-hmm. through. You know. So then I went for it, and yeah, I stepped in, mm-hmm. and whew, the world, the rest is history. The world, <laughs> the world. You were never ready. So so tell me, how did um, your partner, Sipo at the time, how did he, how did you get him on board? So how I got him on board was that we've always had conversations, you mm. know, of, okay, um, we're planning a future. Mm. We're eventually going to get married. Mm. And, you know, in a sense, um, he's always been that kind of a person that wanted me to bond with his mom, you know, mm. because at at some point, like, I hadn't really met his mother, you know, and then his mom is quite fussy, you mm-hmm. know. Um, so he was like, okay, I'd like for you to meet her. And then maybe if we take up the show thing, now that you've mentioned that if we take up the show thing, maybe then it will be a chance for you to get to know her better. And then, yeah, so he he came with an open mind. Also, one thing about Sipo, mm. he's quite an open-minded guy. Mm. You know, he's not he's not in, in, in the box, you mm. know. He's, he's a... Mm. Yeah, that. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so then you get a call. What year was this? Wasn't that 2021? 2021. I think. Okay, you get the call. And how long from the time that you get the call to when you start recording the the show? Got the call in July. Shot the, it was... Yeah, I think... What, three months later? Mm. Yeah, mm. three or two months later. Okay. And then, so who in your, in, your, in your circle, in your inner circle, have you told that you're going on you to this? You can't share such, such things. <sighs> you can't, because then, I mean, imagine, I'm like, hey, because we're famous. <laughs> and then the next thing, it's like, boom, in your face, girl. No famousity for you, you know. And also for me, it was an important journey. So mm. I always, I've got that thing of, do you, do you believe in this thing of saying, 
when you talk about things, you jinx them. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. So you I didn't want to I didn't yeah, want to talk about it. Yeah. Also because I knew that if I do do it, because then remember, they'll say to you that you're coming to a show like this, like that and like that, and then you don't really have an understanding of it. Mm. I too did not have an understanding of what was going to happen. Mm. Most of the things I found out as I was on the okay. journey as well, okay. you know. So okay. it was surprises almost every time, mm. you know. I remember I was so excited because also remember it's a, it's two completely different worlds for me, you know. I remember when they called me and then the guy was like, okay, cool, you guys are going to need to go fix your hair. And then they took me to the saloon and then I went for miniatures and pictures with my man. I was like, oh my gosh, we've never done that before, mm. you know. <laughs> yeah, that, so that was like off-camera things. Yeah. And then, okay, so all the preps and everything, it was just happening so beautifully. Mm. And I was like, I'm enjoying this, you know. Mm. And then if it does not happen, at least I have gotten to live beautiful days, mm. you know, of fantasy. Mm. You had a great experience. Mm. Just fantasy before we could even mm. go shoot. Because mm. I was so happy, you know, I was thinking, hey, my daughter, come on. <laughs> like, and I pictured it um, airing completely differently. Okay. You know, I pictured it being seriously the Shlomo and the wife type of thing, oh, whereby okay. he was going to be by my side every day. Mm. We were going to be me and him mm. against his mom, mm. you know, because then the one thing that we needed to go and conquer was his mother mm. more than anything, just to go and bond and have that experience of his family life mm. before, which had actually never been done before. Mm. We also did not know that such things do happen mm. until we actually tried it out. Mm. Amazing that we were actually like, you know, um, season one couple mm. as well. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing, because you guys, it's not like the other seasons where people had some Something to refer back to yeah. and they knew what mm. they were getting into mm. as you guys were going in blind it was amazing you i feel like nothing nothing i always say that the show was so much of a blessing to me especially also because of the things that it unleashed you know mm. all the revelations in the show you know everything and everything mm. diary sessions Oof. where you will see someone calling you stuff and mm. you're like you said that and we went back home together mm. like what mm. you know mm. so very amazing mm. okay so i said um you said no one in your circle what about family did you did you I share? I did not know. So it was you. What to do? And you didn't, I didn't say tell my family. You're... Also, remember where I was staying at the time. I was staying with just my daughter. Okay. Yes. Okay. So no one knew. Okay. I was preparing all by myself, mm -hmm. and then um, until also part of it, the most exciting part of it was actually going to to have to go and ask them for this while I've already decided that I'm doing it. You know. So it it brought also the excitement. A lot of it drama. was mm. yeah, it was nice decisions because then I was like, okay, mm. I know that my mom's. I thought my mom was going to disagree. Also, you know, mm. I didn't think that she'd agree. So she was very surprising in that season because she wasn't as as harsh as I thought she would be. You know, so yeah, mm. I thought okay, I'm gonna go tell her because in my head. The reason why also I chose to tell to to ask my aunt if you if you remember yes. most of the things I I liaised with my aunt, Your aunt first yes, yes, yes I remember that yeah. so I kept on talking to her most like when we got there I was like okay cool this was, this was I told her the night before that I'm coming through and then she was like oh okay cool is everything okay I was like no listen I just want to ask you something so I asked her when I arrived that night before mm. and then. After that, then, okay, she was like, okay, I'll see. Mm. Most of the things, I got them, like, I surprised my family a lot. I literally kept on throwing bombs and bombs and bombs. Mm. And then they, they just, they supported me. If mm. anything about them, they stood with me throughout the process. Until now, actually. Mm. They seem very supportive, I must say. Which, they are. Which brings me to my next question. Do you think cameras play a role in people being more lenient than they would have been without cameras. Because I feel like my parents would have said, what? Because <laughs> my mom... Like, hell no. Whereas I, I always question whether, not just this show, but other shows as well, whether sometimes the family and elders and Yababa are like, they're traditional, they you know, set in their ways, but you just wonder, do the cameras sort of make them a bit more like, Ish, it, I don't want to shame my child. I don't want to embarrass my child. Do they make the cameras soften them to a certain extent? Or was it genuinely Not just necessarily? They mm. don't, mm. they don't mm. because, um, there's nothing that you are on camera that you are not off camera. That's true. Actually. Yeah. yeah You're not going to be a, a, no, an entirely you new you person. You can't now go yeah. and, Especially when that's it's reality. Because yeah, there's no action true. and cut. Yeah, there's true. no, you need to give us more energy. Mm, no, mm. there's no such thing. There's no um, a smile more. Okay, maybe mm. there could be like, uh, no, there's no smile more, mm. you know. Mm. But now, um, the only person that I feel, the only time I felt like, thank God for cameras, mm. was the day I told my mom that I'm actually pregnant. 
I expected a slap and she actually did not slap me, you know. Mm. So that day I was like, oh, she didn't okay, slap you on camera. Then. She didn't slap you on camera. Even even even, even after that, camera. she did not. She would have never. Mm. But I feel like on that day mm. it was something to her like not even camera but it was the people behind the camera. Okay. okay. So she 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 was like, okay, there's people here and then she's saying this to me. But then also she did bring out her true her, her true emotion, okay. you know, yeah. her shock and everything. Yeah, she, it was there, you know. Yeah. But now also I felt like had I come at a different time mm. alone mm. without anyone else in the room, mm. maybe mm. something would have flown somewhere, mm. you know. Mm. Maybe <laughs> I'd have come out bruised, you know, yes. because also she was just not ready. Or maybe she'd have really broken down and mm. cried mm. a lot, you know, mm. because mm. that whole pregnancy thing did mm. not sit so well with, with her, her. Yeah. yeah and i think after that like eight months later when she saw the bump mm. i i sensed some sort of a disbelief because mm. then she came to my work and then when she came to my work i, was, I remember i was behind the till mm. and then she was like hmm, I know mm. and then she left you mm. know like after whatever conversation we had like, hmm, mm. I know and then you know mm. she left and then after that, she voice noted my aunt and she was like, hey, and then expressed how she was she really, really feeling up about it, you know. Yes. So somehow there's no, there's no, there's nothing that cameras, cameras don't make you mm. be someone else. Not, you okay. know, you, you live out your best life mm. off and on camera. Mm. 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 Okay. So at, at, at what point when you were pregnant, did you tell her that, you know, you're expecting and... I can't quite remember on the show. I remember the the episode where you told your mom that you're pregnant, but I can't remember whether you were showing. I wasn't you showing. Weren't, you weren't showing it. I wasn't, oh, I wasn't okay. Showing. So she knew right from the get go with you. Okay, this is what it is. And, yeah, mm. I wasn't showing because I was what was it at about fourteen weeks. Mm, okay, no, yeah. still early. I was early. Were you not scared to reveal that on camera? In public, what if God forbid something happens? Know, happens? Mm. Not really. Mm. Remember, there was a season for me to live out my best life, yeah, try sure. things new. Yeah. And also because uh, I had been well aware that it's not going to air while I am, you know, true. it was not a live true, show. True. So I understood that, okay, I can say this yeah, now in true, January. Mm. It might just air next of next year, January. So it's still safe. And the public won't know until the child yeah. is born. Yeah. yeah. I kind of understood that even if they do know, I'll probably be showing by that time. Mm. So no one will have a thing of saying, she just said she's pregnant. Mm. Let's go do whatever. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. And, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So take us back to when you and, uh, 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 they call him Opa, uh, Obama, because mm-hmm. <laughs> he looks like Barack Obama. When you and Obama met 2016, around then. Eh? Yeah. I remember you said that on the show. Mm-hmm. And then the the point to which you got onto the show, like how was your relationship before you went, you when you met in the build up to the show after the, you know just that whole period when you met him and the five years yeah the five years before okay. we met you guys mm-hmm. how was it your was different it wasn't the same as what you guys so it was not dingy mm. they had no drama mm. uh, even if it had drama it was minimal drama mm, it was just normal it was it was mm, okay you know okay. it was um cholo it was. It was him cheating here and there, mm-hmm. you know, me not answering my phones here and there, mm-hmm. us getting drunk here and there, mm-hmm. this, that, the normal stuff, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, there would be a bit of cheating on my side as well, you know, mm-hmm. here and there, but I'd, I'd, I'd never have really gotten him catch me and mm-hmm. stuff like that, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So it was just normal relationship drama, really. It mm-hmm. was amazing more than anything because me dating Obama was me staying, stay, stepping out of, in my comfort zone, I can call it, because I had never dated a taxi driver, and there's there has always been a stigma yes. about women that date taxi drivers. Yes. But I liked Obama, mm. and then also at that time, I think I had been actually interested in thinking that is there really cool taxi drivers? Mm. And then there he was, cool, I guess, <laughs> you know, because he yeah. had this beautiful life mm. that i did not know of mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. he had this this charm mm-hmm. in him you know it was really nice also he he did have you know also i know that my favorite face yeah obama is when he wakes up or when he's tired mm. you know mm. when he seems like he's worn off but mm. he's still trying to put it together mm. you know so i'd see all of those things in him we had you know, we had nice times i i really loved obama if anything mm. i loved him and um 
Yeah, like the five years were, were really, uh, they were not a smooth sailing, mm. but they were proper. Mm. They were proper. They were, they were not better than what they became on the show and after the show. They weren't better because that those were times that we had to experience, you know. However, the things that the show revealed at the same time, I feel that as much as I, I feel, I, I say to you that I feel that the show was a blessing to me. It's because the things that were revealed were revealed five years later, mm-hmm. you know, where as I've already gotten to experience that Umkel is only on TV and mm-hmm. on the book, you know, not necessarily live right here, you know, Real but life. then you create your own, you make mm-hmm. your own things happen. If you liked him for his music, if you liked him for his park chills, mm-hmm. if you liked him for, for, for any other thing, you bring it out, you live it out, you make it happen, you know, you make the happy happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> can't believe I just said that because that's what said at my work you make the happy happen mm. you know so I made the happy happen for like mm. five years we both did we both put the effort it's just that clearly we both had dark sides yeah. that which is never revealed until, yeah, until you know and I don't elements. know if had we not gone to Makote are you the one where we would where we would be today right now mm. I don't know if we'd still be together hiding things mm. or if we'd actually have broken up but mm-hmm. then also I feel like the show helped because mm. then I got to sing like, you know, true colors of mm. people. I got revealed, to sing my true colors as revealed well. Revealed a lot. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So up until you got onto the show, had you guys discussed marriage? Because obviously you've been together for quite a long time. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I always say that um, when you date, you don't date to date. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, especially if you're someone like who's like, okay, cool. I, I am a girl who yes. grew up thinking I'll wear Cinderella yes. dress someday, yes. you know? Yes. So, of course, date for a month, there's no marriage mm. talk. For mm. a year, mm. there's now a bit of, okay, future, mm. you know? But now into two years, obviously now we are talking of we're never going to be apart. You are my forever and a day and, 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 yeah. Mm. Had you lived with him yet? No, but we had like very frequent visits, you Mm. know. That's why I was shocked when he mized me Mm. from from the show because I remember after the um, after the engagement, Mm. I went back to my place, Mm. and then it was a matter of okay, we'll talk. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow because it's already late when we wrapped that night. Mm. It was late, and then he he went to to his home, and then after going to his home, you know, I called when I got home, you know. I was even laughing at the fact that I'm struggling to to get off the dress, you know. Mm. And then I was like, okay, but we'll recap tomorrow. Okay, cool. Recap in the following morning. It was me calling him. Mm. And then after calling him that that morning, it was a matter of he was not even called on the phone. He was proper. I really mm. kept on thinking I'll see him tomorrow, mm. Mm. you know, until tomorrow was another tomorrow and mm. another tomorrow was another tomorrow. Literally, he just went dead quiet on me. Mm. So, as 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 I myself, I remember even with um, Tepo, the guy that passed away, um, that I was dating mm-hmm. before um, Obama. Mm-hmm. I remember with Tepo, he had said, "Let's go to a gig," and then after saying, "Let's go to a gig," um, we I, I was like, "Okay, I can't go." So after not being able to go, I called him the following morning to check if he got back well, because normally he'd check in. Mm-hmm. And then he didn't pick up. The following day, on to the following day, I kept on trying. But then three days later, I stopped only to find that the reason why he's not answering is because he's late. Oh, yes. Okay. So with Obama, I did the same thing. I called mm. him like one day, two days. Hi, man. Mm. What's wrong? Like, mm. I'm not received. Mm. Dialed. Going out. You know? Mm. And then um, text on WhatsApp. No, Obama didn't find man go WhatsApp. And then I think about a week later, Nam Dayeg and Akumba, you know. Course, yeah, yeah. So Wami, I'm like, I bo un halaga go be he's probably, you know, busy doing but now also in 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 his defense, I'm like, he wouldn't do that after what we've just yeah, gone through. But now yeah. I am engaged with a ring, no cows, no boyfriend, mm, no mm, fiance, mm, you know? Mm. And I'm here thinking, okay, now there's a lot that I have to answer to. Okay, my mom, my mom was there at the engagement mm. but now it was i don't know man if you can see this moment like have a picture this mm. we go we get engaged ne? you and our but along do you understand yes. your family's there yes, yes i remember with my sister they told her to take the ring off mm. uh, until she actually gets married oh, okay. yes at home they did that mm. 
And then with me now, I'm wearing the ring. Ne? I stay by myself, firstly. Mm. Ne? And mm. then I'm not saying anything to my family. They probably waiting for me to say something. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for him to say, to something, say something. Or rather his family to say something. But no one's saying anything. You know? Yo. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a it lot. was a huge mess. It's a lot. Yes. Like it was a horrible, horrible mess. Yes, yes. And, and it's then, public to top it all off. Do you understand? Mm. No, at that time it wasn't really public mm, mm, mm. because the show has not has played. Not aired, We've yes. just shot the show. Okay. So in me, I'm walking around and I'm thinking, and now mm. people are seeing the ring and everyone's mm. like, ah, and then, mm. you know, mm. and then I'm thinking, I don't even have the answers. Mm. And then there was this um, time where we had to have a meeting with production post shoot. Yes. Mm. That's the time I saw him. Mm. When I saw him on that day, it was a mess because then there was some sort of an argument with his family, myself, and everyone else. There, there was just shocking moments. And then after that, I didn't see him after again. Sure. You know? So going back now home, that's the... I think that's the that's the day he got the impression of Taz guy because that day I had gone to, to, his, home, to mm. his house with a Taz. Mm. And then... Um, after that, still the mm. silence, you know, mm. and now I've got so many questions mm. like whew, it was a mess. Like mm. he put me through a lot because then I'm thinking, mm. am I really engaged? Mm. Was he staging while I was, you know, mm. all happy mm. where like I didn't understand what was happening, honestly speaking mm. to this date, because I never really got to confront him mm. as to why didn't you come back and then sit down and say that Lona, I have one, two and three questions, mm. you know, Lona, I feel like. Um, you're not carrying my child. Mm. Lona, I feel like you're dating Tez guy. Mm. Lona, I feel one, two, and three. And then I'm calling off the engagement. Mm. Like, why rather leave me like that? Yeah, leave me hanging. Yeah, yeah. Rather. Okay, so let's take 10 steps back. Let's go back to when, okay, you're starting the process and now you've told your parents that um, you guys are going to go through with this process. And how did he, how did he go about it on his side? don't remember seeing that. Mm, did he tell you how it went? Uh, or did you just rock up and... Why do I not remember even seeing that on the show? Him telling his people that he was going to bring me. Did we see that on the show? No, I think it was mostly the ladies. We we saw mostly the ladies telling... Their families. Their families. We didn't really see the on guys. the other side. Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. So I believe he had a meeting with his family because mm. then upon... My arrival, mm. I was very confused mm. as to whether, because when I got there, uh, on the day I arrived, it was myself, my aunt, and Wandy. Mm. And Wendy? then Wandy's my friend. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, I remember her. Yes. So, getting there, the gate is open. Yes, I saw that. <laughs> and then, where are you? Mm. He's, Where's everybody? Mm. It was really like, okay. Mm. So imagine now, because I felt like, okay, I don't even know. Yeah, they didn't show that. Because mm. I remember I didn't even know that mm. I'm supposed to go in, you know. I don't know if you they know, know that I'm do. coming yeah. and all of yeah. that, you know. Yeah. But then it was Tada, mm. you know. Mm. And then they was, welcomed you. Mm, it was a, a nice proper thing. Tada. Yeah, it, was Ooh, that nice. was, it was very beautiful, actually. It was, it was very, very nice. It was very, very I still nice. felt like I killed the welcoming. Like, literally, mm. I was the one that got the best welcome. No, it was beautiful. It was very nice. Oh, I think Gunas as well was also very nice. It was similar to mine. Yes, yes, I got Gunas was also similar to yours okay so then you get there and then first night you're you get there with Wandi yourself and your aunt ne? Mm-hmm. you're introduced to the family how were they like was, was that the first time you're actually meeting them or had you me- met them off camera you know when you girlfriend mm. you meet people but you don't meet people okay okay i get that do you understand yes, i get because they're yeah, 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 like you're just yeah, over there, yeah, there drinking yeah, your alcohol yeah, yeah. you know doing what okay. you do and then he'll keep bringing people yeah. nah, okay, nah, yeah. okay, you know no, I get so you. i had met most of them okay but then i had met them just met them just you know as, but mm. now here yeah, i am mm. i'm coming now mm. and then you know what i didn't expect and it got me shaking it was mm. that thing of being put now it, had it been Emakaya Bebe on Fagis by in Ban you know, mm. at the center. Mm. Now that one was pretty big. Mm. You know, it got me shaking because I was like, okay, mm. you know, that's a bit drastic because mm. according to me, Makoti, are you the one? Is your girlfriend going to visit your family? Like, because mm. I think I did say that to my mom when I told her. Mm. 
but now all of a sudden because also remember now then dio buta fnege ngabi because siko luzo kwenziwa so i think what was at the back of my head that that day was, I hope. was that okay now we're here and then did you see the setup where we sat yes it looked like yes. the next thing they're going to do was yes, bring in yongo kind of traditional actually, yes you know back let them combo and all of that and yes. then pour the actual yes. yongo on my head so i was really worried you yes. know a part of me was worried mm. until then they went on to the speeches you know mm. and then it was just welcome welcome I was like mm. oh okay cool mm. better abazu nika kama you do know mm. that in escosen mosu nika kama nika kama ne zulu most of the cultures yes i've never heard of that in zulu mm. well yeah so mm. it looked like i was going to get a name for my sector to no man don't you know mm. but yeah man it was all, it was very overwhelming but then i think the craziest part was when everyone left. Yes, I was going to ask you. Now people have left. Now you are spending the night there. How were they to, like how was it? Because I know the next morning yeah, there was a lot that happened. There was a lot that happened and I don't know how much of it was over dramatized for us viewers mm-hmm. and how much of it was like really actually happening because there was a point at which okay, you woke up the next day um and then you went I didn't wake up there the next day. You didn't wake up there the next day. I woke up yes but then Obama stole me very early in the oh, morning. Oh yeah. Because I had complained to him yes, also, yes, you know. Yes, yes. So um when you, when you guys left, let me mm. just say when you guys yes. left because you guys also <laughs> left with yes. the people, you know. <laughs> you know, there was a lot of dishes. There was a whole lot of dishes mm. and, and it's then, a function so well. It was that Makoti mm. moment yeah. by I woke up and said come here in. You know, mm. so mm. But then Nontu came to fetch me. Mm. You know, expectedly. So she mm. came, she fetched me. She was like, mm. Obviously, Ugo Salangale is for me to go and wash the dishes. Mm. At some point, I was like, literally, like, I was mad. Because mm. I think that's what even drove the whole thing. Ga Obama, Yoba. Um, I don't remember what he had done to me in order for him to take me to the breakfast in the sky the following mm. morning. Mm. But he like, yo, he pissed me off. But I was more worked up by the fact that um i worked half the night doing dishes mm. you know and these dishes the people here are just jolly they're mm. excited about everything that's happening mm. they keep coming to greet me mm. gati like go mampela go mampela like mm. i've just arrived as umakoti all like jolly where you and stuff mm. you know but, it but, wasn't as i had pictured it in my head mm. you know but is that not the expectation that no. uzokoti is a It's no. your first night no, how to pack up no chaka <laughs> Kanti what is it? Are you Yakotiza? Are you visiting? Are they getting to know you? Cuz maybe that's the miscommunication and the breakdown in relationship because they have obviously an expectation they, that concept, yeah. yes, kuti no uzosebenza uzowasha uzoclina ngqeliti ekseni and then when you get there and you're just like no, I'm not doing all of this. I'm not your wife yet. Mm. So maybe that's I feel as though in my head ne mm. i don't know what was in someone else's head mm. don't be clean mm. anyone mm. else i don't know mm. but i thought that i'd arrive on the first night first of all there was a very big welcoming mm. so i thought i'd get there and then have obama sit down with myself and whoever would be there mm. and say that ma i've brought her so that you can teach her the ways of Do you understand? That's a valid point actually. So yes. I th- I had expected a round table, mm. you know, mm. four seats. Mm. And then this is it. So mama, this is what I'd like for you to teach her. Mm. This is what I'd like for you to 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 take her through. This is what I'd like for her, for you to also just, you know, instill in her. Mm. And also I just want you to observe her mm. her her character, yes. which is a very big thing when you say someone must observe someone else's character. Mm. I can only leave out and bring out my character if I am being myself. True. Which now brings in the magoti, are you the one? True. You have to bring out your character. True, true, true. So then we have not to Because then my character is not that character of waking up at 5 a.m. Yeah, yeah. I love yeah, Savannah. Yeah, That's me. You, you're being yourself, honestly. Do you understand? Yes, I yes, understand yes. Savannah. Yes. That lady drinks wine, but yes. she hides it, you mm. know? And then when she, she when she drinks her wine in the in the bedroom, mm. I I expected it to be more like, because I feel like these days, I don't know if Nklambe Genyani, Sibona, um, other sides of mother-in-laws mm. in other houses. Because mm. when you get there, for example... now in my current relationship you know that lady can sit with me and she doesn't even drink alcohol much mm. but she's able to sit down with me and be like um you know i'm there with her daughters and mm. we're drinking mm. 
and she does not have a problem mm. with that. Mm. I can get there uh, with my pants and everything. And she doesn't have a problem with mm. that. We get along. She can video call me. Mm. And there's uh, there's something I like about her. Whenever she we, we talk on a video call, she'll be like, oh, mm. you know, she, she's, 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 a very, she's a whole different yeah. mother-in-law. Yeah. That one, that will say, when I get to that house now, I don't even have to cook because then they know that I can't really cook their mm. food. You know? She's understanding. And then she'll always say to me that you must learn. Mm. Because then Luna mm. you know, then you know, it's something like she's that. She's accommodating and she's willing to very to, much to guide you on who mm. she, who you should be. And in. and then the nicest thing she'll say to me is that yo, how I wish no tileka washin kite kito. You know, because I know now that you are taking care of yourself, your two kids, and the man. So whenever you've got time, so that I can offload. She's a very nice person. I wish Nekense Makotia you the one killing in this relationship. Like, I just wish maybe I should try. <laughs> There's, I see nothing wrong with that. Kilo Rimakotia you the one part two. Part two. Drama. So. So did you communicate that to, to, to Usipo and say, dude, can you maybe call your parents, Slalin Pansi, and just discuss with you what I expect from this versus what your mother expects from Because maybe can't. that's where... I can't. I can't. Could you not have... I can't. Why? Would you do that? Yes, I would have. Call a meeting. Not, a, they... not a meeting, but tell my partner that, listen, your family seems to think this and my, my idea is this. Let us meet in the middle because Ngati Manje, there's going to be a, a breakdown. You can't see that, Koban Ngati Manje, there's going to be a breakdown on your first day. And then when you are going there on your first day, mm. you feel like, okay, what happened today was a glitch. Mm. Okay, I get you. It happens you, you again thought, okay, tomorrow okay. and it doesn't happen in the same way. It's Do you okay, understand? Then you're like, okay, okay another glitch. Another glitch. Okay. You understand? And then you burn Uputu mm. and then you're like, okay, cool. It's me who fumbled. Mm. Then you see the need. Because mm. I remember at some point off camera, I asked the people, like the production team, I was like, guys, I'd love to redeem myself from that horrible meal I, pre I prepared. Mm. And they Which were excited like Uput, about the that. the burning Uput, or was it something else? Or was it the, the lunch did we have? Did we, did we have two lunches? You had a lunch with the family where you were cooking for them outside. I remember and that And they table. criticized me and the first yes. one was horrible. Yes, yes, Then I yes, asked yes. to redeem myself. Oh, okay. Then I made the, the better one where okay. I was myself. Okay, okay. Because with the first one, Mama had actually, because uh, I had planned on making mashed potatoes. Okay. She got them, she poured mealy meal. Oh. And then she was like, we're making, I don't know, Put. Papa what what. Mm. I, I don't. I forgot what that word was. Mm -hmm. Then she said we were making papa something something. Mm -hmm. You know. So is it the potato pop, or is that your own thing? Potato pop. Oh, okay. potato pop. Because I was potato pop in, in the redemption. I, I don't know. It was not was in the not redemption. In, it was not because okay. I, I made steamed bread in oh, the redemption. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Right, so cool. I think it's there where mm -hmm. you're like, okay, today is just a huddle, mm -hmm. and then it mm -hmm. so 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 and one then you you yeah. keep thinking. To, that's that, then that's where. Your emotions unleashed. That's where yeah. then you're like, I just want to lock myself in this room. Yeah. Kanti, where is this boy? Mm. You know, Obama, this, where are you? You know, you're not standing up for me. Mm. And then you have all these people. I think then that's, that's, that's the whole beauty of the content because now you don't know what's going to happen next. Mm. And also at the same time, remember what your mom said. Yes. So now if you're going to call a meeting, do mm. you understand? It's not just about you. You're also it's representing, you're representing your family. You're representing your family. Yeah, that's And now, true. especially now because you, 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 you seem like this girl who's really forward because mm. you actually going there is yeah. quite forward. Already, yes. <laughs> you know? yes. And we yes, have woman yes, now. Yes, yes, now we have food now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and so when you hear, we can bully yeah, you all yeah, we want, you know? Yeah, so yeah, I think it's yeah. that. Yeah, I think, I think I, I agree with you. I think there is an element of we are papa, but we are happy as Gwazi. And that element is big yes. on, the, on, on, on the show. Because you know black it's people, big, mm. when you haven't love all that, guys, you are just, they see you as just, you're just that girl, mm. so-and-so's girlfriend. You are not part of us just yet. Yeah. So I think Beba Funugugu, like, like really just... Ifungeza, Apekaya. But I think if they can adapt to, to, to that, mm. that if Ungeza, Apekaya, this is who we are. Because mm. now on my part, I, I honestly feel like Zangibaz represent Ega Klebona. Mm. Yeah, I must say. Because that thing, that thing is more like date my family. Yeah. Just exactly. that it's longer. Exactly. You know, it's exactly. 21 days of date my family. Mm -hmm. You're literally dating his family mm. every day. 
So now on date my family the family represents you. That's mm. the difference. You are at the back, mm. you know. Mm-hmm. You've made the food they can taste it. Mm. The guy can taste it mm. and all of that, mm. but the, the family represents you. Mm. So in that Makoti are you the one? The family represents the guy, yeah. you know. Yeah. And then they become all of those things. So now as a person, now I know that on my last days I honestly didn't care whether they they said I was the one or I was not the one you know because then also um I had seen many different characters if there's one thing that I adored it was how mama lives her life mm. mama is not big on pots mm. you know and one thing about me I, no 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 she's not very big on pots she mama gasi poya she's not very big on pots mm. she she she's a salad girl okay mm. okay she's a salad girl then when her people are coming then show keep on yeah, okay, okay you know okay. that's what gave me and her pressure oh. hence i think most of the times you didn't see me cooking just for her mm. the, yeah the, that's true mm, you're right the only time i ever right. made her ugu ya was when i made upu to nan 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 okay. na la for food it was mm. because i was making it for ro paulos okay. you know okay. so she she's she's a salad girl mm. in her fridge you'll always find a salad mm. and then also I was very much um sensitive for food. Mm. I think that's how she also caught that I was Until pregnant. Cuz one I thing I how ate, she figured that out cuz she had it spot on. Eh? She was she, she was, was very spot, spot on. on. And I was not even aware that mm. I was like okay okay really, really. I yes I I suspected it because of how things were going. The mm. only thing I could stomach at that time mm. was isonke simhlope ne ne green chilies. Sure. That's what I could eat like and have fun with. Mm. Like I could literally eat that the entire time. Mm. And then I'd crave something now and then mm. not wanted once it has arrived, you know, mm. stuff like that. But I still do, you know how how dumb you get when you're pregnant. Mm-hmm. You'll always think, but oh okay, cool. That was actually really nice. And then you have those things you know, because how when you grow up in Makai, you'll have tin fish mm-hmm. raw mm-hmm. with bread yes, and then, yes, yes, you know, all yes. of those things. Mm-hmm. So it felt like one of those mm-hmm. moments for me. You didn't think anything of it. I was not looking at pregnancy. Mm-hmm. And then the moment where that that moment where u uh, uh, mama walks in and there's like a, a glass of something on the table and it's alcohol was it alcohol was it not alcohol you remember that scene apple in the juice. kitchen was apple it apple juice, juice? It was was it actually apple apple, apple juice <laughs> so what was that doesn't someone have apples so was it, what was it, it was a- <laughs> <laughs> what was it? It was apples. <laughs> it was <laughs> apples. Okay. okay. It was Savannah. It was Savannah. <laughs> okay. But you didn't know you were pregnant, right? No, I wasn't. No. I was not aware that I was pregnant. Like I was drinking away. my life, okay. guys. I, like I was, I was, I was drinking. Okay. I was fine, and you know, mm. yeah. And Did you oof. feel judged? Did you feel by like, her? Mm. Yeah. Because I remember, ooh, 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 the sister ga 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 si pop brought it up. Oh, mama na she pop. Look, the sister for me. I don't know if it's your place, but Umama, I think she has a point. Like in my house, can you please not drink? What you do out there is, is your business. But in my house, can you please not drink? So Umama, I completely get it. The sister, I was a bit like, I, okay, maybe she's trying to uphold her mother's rules. But did you feel, did you feel judged? Did I just don't like the way they attended it. They addressed it. You right? know, it was mm. how they came about it for me because... Mm. It's not like drinking alcohol is not a big thing at my home. Mm. It's a big thing in anyone's mm. home. Was there especially issue in front of that, elders. Was there issue the fact that you drink? Or was there issue the fact that you are drinking That's there? my thing. What no, the issue? the issue, I, I also uh, to this day, I just don't get the fact that mm. they don't want someone who drinks mm. or they don't want someone who drinks at home. Because also I feel like if my kids are to drink alcohol, I'd rather they drink it at home, at home mm. and not go to group because there's mm. danger out there. However, mm. I think they were too... It was a matter of them just trying to say that not in my house. Mm, probably, you know. Mm. I think it was that. It was just mm. some form of not in my house type of thing, you know. Mm. But also, you don't blame them mm. because then it is their house at the yes. end of the day. Maybe yes. I shouldn't have done that, yes, you know. Yes, yes. But then also, it comes back to that thing of saying, "When I'm my God, are you the one? Can I live mm. my full life? Mm. Can I show you that mm. now? Nah, I'd rather sit on the counter and then not." stand in the kitchen mm. you know and then you come and you tell me that and then it goes back to what I, i'm saying mm. but with that my quote either one show you actually the one that actually exposes yourself for who you are mm. you know mm. so if mama had gotten there and said as it as slowly get a flina pekai do you understand yeah, yeah. then i would have gotten off the table and there's said i'm sorry yeah yeah bo. Mm. but now if you're gonna get there and be like mm. then mm. 
mm. already now my head is already reacting mm. you know mm. that's why at some point uh, i'd feel like for take to them like mm. most of the times like i i must say watching that show you are not someone who hides who you 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 don't pretend very well like your face says I can't. it all i can't i can't sometimes i was just like yo like i was by and like i like just you know just keep a straight face just you're here for three weeks suck it up three weeks these, is long when you're there hey i get it but this is these people are going to be in your life forever like just you know like just suck it up just because for me here's my okay this is my opinion i would have there's nothing wrong with drinking there's nothing wrong with liking your alcohol but i think do things their way for three weeks appease them you're not being someone you're not mm-hmm. but guako you do whatever you want to do i go mnyum yeah guako you do whatever you want to do but you're in her house just abide by her rules yes the way she went about it maybe was a little bit but were rules given yeah but maybe that's also another thing mm. that's also there but to see pona ga tiphanga kuti hey mama me she doesn't have a problem with him drinking yeah but he would have known that my sister doesn't drink he doesn't like women who drink my but ex- he was just as shocked hey maybe it's because it had never happened in the house before maybe because it had never ha- the, the yeah the whole the whole process it was new to everybody all of us. was new to it yeah yeah and then there was a point where you went and changed the bedding I was yes. like why was I wrong <laughs> very <laughs> that is offensive <laughs> it's offensive lord imagine i invite you to my and this doesn't have to be my my koti uh, and and mama zala dynamic it can be friends i invite you to my house That's and then you're coming with your bedding what are you trying to say to me am i not clean do you not think i prepared for you <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the concept now was no, it no it just came it came, i was watching that and i was just like oh no she's she's digging her hole even deeper i don't want to lie I, that scene for me was like yo i wouldn't i wouldn't have done that because you are what are you saying exactly her bedding is not good enough i was trying to find my own comfort but what's wrong with her bed what do you didn't even did you try it bedding yeah okay Yes, I slept on it. And what was wrong with it? Nothing. But then I just wanted a bright color. Like I wanted to make the whole place white. But it's someone else's house. You know? <laughs> oh well. Like do you know that like I never You didn't think of that? No. Oh, but mama didn't say like No, cuz then I'd tell him that okay cool to be comfortable now. Mm. It is tank because mm. we were passing by stores and I was mm. like okay. Just feel like this thing E1 2 and 3. Fluffy pillows, mm. you know, mm. so that I can have mm. a nice chill out mm. when I'm there. I think things like that sort of they they touch on a person and as much as also maybe she sort of on who the person is guys I don't I didn't say anything wrong with that to date I think it was a little bit offensive <laughs> like <laughs> you are coming to be a guest in my house worst of your potential makoti uzegwam it's the like it's the equivalent of bringing your own pots and bringing you get me like the bedding has been cleaned we are waiting for you we have prepared for you and then you come and, then and your you bedding change is green and then I'm going to be spending 3 weeks at your house and then I'm like friend okay well I didn't say that to mama but then if I'm like friend since I'm going to be here for 3 weeks can I make it look like my room perhaps you could have said that Maybe, perhaps you you could have said goti you know what i'm someone who likes bright colors or i don't like white linen yeah she should go la can i change that's more of a conversation okay. than it comes across as though uh, I mean, did i, I never have that conversation with no her? it it didn't show you just walked in changing bedding and pillows and i'm just mm, like i didn't walk in like the way you saying it okay you had see. bags you had you were carrying <laughs> bags now you making it seem like i came and I was like this house ain't no, the no, house no 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 not like that <laughs> but it came across as though really you sort of think i don't know it just it came across all wrong even though your intention when i was not there it wasn't even it, it, as a viewer nami i was offended on her behalf i was like oh my god i would not have done oh that my i would have had the conversation if you feel like no you know what i'm very sensitive my skin is sensitive i have my own particular bedding or i have a particular pillow that i literally I use. only just wanted to be comfortable literally mm. i only just wanted to be like okay cool since mm. i'm going to be here for the longest time can i trust mm. you know okay. no no i, I think you. that's oh, that's all it was for me you. but mm. now that you say it i'm like mm. oh 
I care. Yeah, it, it could have landed could have, yeah. on the other side I in a different way. I should have had way. the conversation. Didn't I? Yes. When she walked into the room, what did I say to her? Didn't she talk about ironing stuff? No, that was a different, that was a completely different thing. Because I remember in her diary, in her diary session, she was like, yo, maybe my blankets, my my home or my blankets are not good enough for her. Something like that. She said something along those lines. And I was like, Shame, man. yeah, you see now it seems. And I think those were things that were adding to the, mm, to my scene, to, to, to how they feel feel about you it's like okay we has born now she doesn't want to do this next thing we're changing pete next thing next thing next thing and i think as much as you are trying to be yourself and you are just being like i want these people to love me for who i am and not who they think i should be on their side there was a bit of like yo uh -uh. she's too she's she's maybe too it came across a bit rude, mm-hmm. yeah, in some scenes, I think. No, I get it yeah. now that you say it. Yeah. Now that you say it, came I do across. get it. And I think Usi, Paul, it's his responsibility to really educate you or any guy. It's, it's, he, he knows his family. He should Sipo be the one. Sipo threw me at home and left me there, guys. Literally, he was mm. like, you've arrived. Mm. Tipe, azanga, uh, no, also, he, he wasn't a very available person for mm. my emotions mm. when I was at his home. He wasn't a very available person for what I go through. You know, mm. I think he kind of ignored most of the things. Hence, most of the times I'd literally call for him. Mm. You know, Cause I really, 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 really needed his support. And then I felt like most of the times he was just very ignorant to what I feel, you know, mm. he kind of like, cause first days amazing. Cause he'd be with me in the kitchen. He'd be with me, you know, he'd mm. take me out mm. and, and, and maybe that's my idea of being at his home. Mm. I wanted it to stay like that. Mm. You know, but now when I'm doing, um, when when his mom has to come and say that um, he must not do his laundry when I'm there, he doesn't speak for me, you know. When his mom has to make me wash windows that are already clean, mm. he doesn't say that that's not necessary, mm. you know, stuff like that. Mm. I kind of felt like he was like, you've arrived, so get the experience and then we'll talk later, mm. you know. Mm. But yeah, like figure yourself out and isn't gay any type thing. Because he wasn't really there a lot at home in mm, the scenes, unless you guys were having like a function. He was not home most of the yeah. times, you know, because I pictured it as though sometimes we'd watch TV, you know, the mm. way I wanted to get into the dining room. Mm. You know, I'd picture it as though, hey, mm. you're going to watch TV, you know, mm. and stuff. Mm. Ah, Nix. Nix. Never happened. Sure. Okay. And then you find out that you are pregnant. Mm-hmm. How was that? It was amazing for mm. me. Mm. It was amazing for me because I had been broody for like the longest time, mm. you know. So I really, sorry. I really liked the fact that I, like I was happy mm. about it. It was the most amazing thing for me mm. at that time. It came at a time where I had really, really wanted a child. Mm. Not because I was financially stable, no. Mm. Not because I was with the right partner, no. But it's because I was really, really broody mm. for the longest time even. I think I had I was even writing about it in my statuses. Mm. You know, it was just there. And mm. I was happy to actually discover that I really am pregnant. I was really happy. Mm. And the most exciting part was hearing the baby's heartbeat. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I was so happy. Mm. I was even happier when I heard it on TV. Mm. I was like, whoa, this is nice, you know. So mm. I loved it. Like, I think it was the happiest moment of me. And it kind of brought back a sense to me, you know, it made me also see that my reason for going through the journey, because also I, one thing that, that, that is not nice in, in life is being a girl or Zalele Kai, mm. you know, it's not very beautiful. Our parents don't like it, you know, and then for you, you have your own views, you have your own naiveness, you have this, you have that. But at the same time, I wanted the baby. Mm. I did mm. a lot. Mm. How was your relationship with um Nuntu mm. That was her name. <laughs> Seemed a little touch and go on the show. Especially that that part where she almost wanted to slap you or yeah. tried to slap you. I was like, oh. I think it was a matter of not really knowing what her character is like. Mm-hmm. So you hadn't now now you hadn't We hadn't chilled, truly really chilled, 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 you know. Mm-hmm. And then me when I saw her uh, outside of the show mm, mm. i thought that she was the school girl i even mm. thought she drinks mm, you know mm. um because she's forever chilling with her brothers mm. she's very close with mm. them you know so I'd, I'd have thought that she she she, she chills she drinks because driving at night they're forever driving together mm. 
be it they're coming to Glen, be it they're going to DK, mm. be it they're going to Turfontein, mm. they are forever together. together. Mm. You know, where hours of the morning you call up, I'm like, hey, do you know that we actually still parked outside, Nantu um, is sleeping in DK, mm. and then I'm sleeping at home, but we just, we've been parked out mm. here, you know, stuff like that. Mm. And they're, they're always, they're always together. Mm. So you'd think for the way Obama carries mm, on, mm. you'd think no to two does the same. Mm. Next. Only for you to get there and be taken to enter bend by no to two. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> for alcohol. <Ooh. laughs> um, yeah, no, that was. So she made me feel like maybe I'm someone who doesn't pray. Mm. Maybe someone who's ignorant to life. Someone who drinks because she's drowning her sorrows someone who over drinks like and that doesn't look that does like, i don't drink to that extent you know but i do it to unwind you they know? made it seem as though the, it's, anyway, it's like like the alcoholic dirtiest, of some sort, yes the thing you know yeah, yeah. so it was very it was it was it was annoying for me more than mm. anything like i it made me feel like what the hell like mm. who are you to judge me like that you know because hello like there was never even a part where they asked can you pray mm. Do you go to church? Mm. Uh, who exactly are you? I think they 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 were like, okay, cool. This one is a drunkard, my god, of ours, you know. Mm. And then therefore we just they need just to box you there. get rid of that demon in her. Mm. If we, if she wants to be my god, do it. You know. Mm. So that didn't sit so well with me. Mm. It was more like they just judged me for the alcohol. Mm. And then in these days, I mean. Most people, you'll find that even people that don't really drink alcohol, but they'll have wine even for health reasons, mm. just to unwind. Yeah, just a, a glass of red wine. Mm. So then the show is, and you watch the show. How did you feel now that you're watching the show back and you you're seeing how people really feel about you I versus cried what they most said of the to your face? Really? Mm. Did you watch it alone or did you watch it no sip? First, sip a whoopie. <laughs> oh, by by then, <laughs> Um, the first night I watched it, yo, like yo, I was in tears. Mm. I think I was overwhelmed also mm. because I was getting calls. You know, most mm. of it, and now whenever the show would play, I'd sit on Twitter. Mm. You know, mm. so I'd get reviews. Why would you do that to yourself? Do you know that no. everyone feels like I shouldn't have done that, Why and I still feel that like that was yourself? the best thing to do. Oh, Lord. I literally Twitter go on Twitter while I'm in the brutal. the one time that I I regretted going on Twitter was mm. now with Nganele. Nganele was not the nicest part yeah, Nganele of was, me, was, you know, yeah. because I was going through the most. Yeah, Nganele was the other side now. Mm. Yeah. So I was going through. So back now there in Nganele, like yo yo yo, like mm. I was chowed by Twitter mm. for how crusty I looked. Mm. For so many things really? that were sensitive to me, you know, mm -hmm. because then I was not at the best part of my life. I was not at the best. That's why I still say that I wish then, um, now mm. I could shoot, but now shoot what, mm. you know. So what was happening? Why? Why? why I had given birth. Oh, okay. So okay. 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 and then being umlezan, I was frustrated mm. because I was not understanding what was happening with my life, mm. you know, because now I'm here at home. Uh, I have two kids. And I'm strained mm -hmm. by my maternity leave because mm -hmm. then I was going through financial situations. Mm -hmm. I was going through, you know, ends were not meeting mm -hmm. at all during mm -hmm. the time of my shoot of Unganel. I also feel like maybe I should have even not agreed to, to shoot and said that I was not ready because mm -hmm. now that I watched the show, I was like, Whew. I was not, mm. you know, mm. but then also for me, also I yearned for answers so much mm. in that show, which I still did not get, mm. you know, because mm. I think I was also just very hungry to see Sipo, mm. to find out where, where, where his head is at, mm. or at least see his family, find closure for my family. That's what Nganele was for me. For you. Mm. I, I, I wanted answers. Mm. I wanted closure. I wanted healing. I wanted everything that I didn't get mm. from it, you know. So Nganele started, so at the end of Uma the one at the end of that season, you guys had just gotten engaged, right? Well, that was the end of Umakoti. You had just gotten engaged, I think. And then Nganele was now the other side of that. Yeah. The the, the I don't know if, if I'm if I'm giving you the right one because mm. there's Makoti are you the one we shot the reunion months later yes. and then after shooting oh, yes, the reunion the months reunion. later yeah that then was... I broke off the engagement yes I remember and I don't know why I was the one who broke off the engagement because then it had already been broken mm. you know and then that guy was already gone and I was highly pregnant at that uh, reunion mm. it was just not. 
I think that's when my life started like falling apart mm. because then now reality was hitting that hey Mugel you are in the salon and then also you can't rely a lot on your family because now you are the one that put them here yeah. you the one that dragged them you, here you I remember my mom this. didn't even want to go to the reunion mm. because she was like ndio tin ndio hlazeka after what you've put me through because already Okwabo, she's going through a lot. Mm. She doesn't know what to say, this, this, that, and that, you know. So going to the reunion was just going to be the worst thing for her, mm. you know. So she didn't go. And then me at the reunion, I was there. But then also, I that, that's when I I started wanting um, answers. But at the reunion, I think I was still a bit angry with mm. Obama because I still thought he's my boyfriend. Mm. Not knowing that, nah, he's actually gone, you know. Mm. So then from the mm. reunion, mm. I then knew that, okay, he's gone. Mm. But then now what, mm. you know, mm. now what do I do now? I had to move out of where I was staying and get a place that's going to be more comfortable for me and two kids. Because mm-hmm. then the one that we were at before had too many memories of him as well, you know. Mm-hmm. So I had to move away from that, go build new memories, mm-hmm. which is where I had shot Unganele from, okay. you know. So I had to go in and try and find like, you know, new memories, mm-hmm. a homish place for my kids. Mm-hmm. And... um yeah so it was that it was mm. that it was that so i had to go into the um, the labor thing alone mm. i can't call on my parents i can't call on anyone because mm. i'm i'm at the, i'm in the wrong you know mm. so i had to go through all of that i'm thinking where is he you know what's going to happen mm. to me and stuff like that going into labor i remember because where i was staying it was like a cottage behind the main house mm. you know mm. where mike and them um mm. were staying so then I had to call on them the night of my labor. Sure. Yeah, I had to go knock and say, hi, I am in yeah, labor. Yeah. You guys need to take me to hospital. Mm. And it was late, like very late, around 11 mm. p.m. Because I remember I had just gotten off a call with my cousin at like 22.57. Because mm. mm. then I went to go and pee and then there was slime. So I was like, oh, woo, yeah, finally. Because yeah. also I had gone through, yo, it was a lot, hey. Because mm. I went through frustrations of not delivering. The baby was not coming on time. Mm. Uh, I'd, I'd call and call mm. and call, go get admitted, not get good treatment mm. from the hospital, mm. discharge myself, come back home, sit. Sure. And, and all of that is heavy. this on your own. It was the pits. Like it was the pits, 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 mm. pits. Then I'd have to come back, be alone and, you know, mm. cook for myself, mm. clean for myself. Take There's my daughter. And you're heavily pregnant. There's my daughter as and well. And you have a child, another uh, Do you understand? Child. So I always have to keep a happy, a happy face as well, you know. So it would be that. Mm. And then the night I, I went into hospital and then I didn't tell him even, you know. Because now by that time we are completely mm. out of touch, mm. you know. And then um, I go into labor, I go to the hospital and then I get a transfer mm. to Barra and then I deliver in Barra, mm. C-section. Mm. And then, do you understand? To get out of the hospital, I had to Uber, sure. you know, and then Ubering, I have to get home. When I get home, that Uber guy. you're doing guy, this all alone. Oh, oh. When they say in Bogoto, right, yeah. So then yeah. getting home, um, that Uber guy is like, so who's going to open the gate for you? I'm like, there's my key. <laughs> you can go open. Oh. Then he's like, oh, okay, cool. He got there. He... And funny enough, now mm. on that day, I always regret this. I'm like, I never took that guy's numbers because mm. I owe him a big thank you. thank you. He literally got in. He opened the door. He went inside. He boiled water for whatever I might need. He fetched a bucket outside for oh, me. Wow. No one was saying anything to mm. him. So he was like, where are you going to go? I'm like, that side. And he was like, okay, cool. Where's your heater? Mm. It's like there. He took the heater. He put it there. He was like, what else are you going to need? Do you oh, understand? And then he did all of that for me. And then after doing all of that for me, he... He left. He was like, okay, what must I do with the key? I'm like, uh, I don't remember if he... Oh, yeah, he he was like, I'll leave the gate opened. Mm. The guys that are going to come in from the front will... Mm. So he locked my bagla, threw the key inside. Mm. Well, I could walk. Mm. Then I went to go and lock the mm. gate after. Mm. And then I stayed. Everyone was busy. Mm. No one could come. Mm. Uh, my mom was going to come a couple of days later. So then when I saw my mom a couple of days later, it was already like, okay, cool, I am already you know, mm. at the hang of things. Mm. Mm. So where is your relationship with Osipo now? It's nowhere to be found. Vanished. It's gone. Really? Yes. Sure. Yes. It's... Did he ever see his child? Did he no. ever meet his, his... Is no. it a daughter or son? A son, a beautiful oh. son. 
very, very the naughtiest boy in the world. Did he ever meet his No. Son? He's never and he'll never. Oh no. <laughs> so it's not. He's he's never and he'll never meet him. And has 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 um his family met? Them? We talk. I okay. talk to I talk to them, and we're very fine with okay. each other. Actually, okay. non to two go. I was talking to her last night, mm. and mm. everyone mm. like we talk. And they've met Umtan. No, they haven't. Why mm. not? For many other reasons. Okay. Yeah. Do they want to? Reasons. I'm sure they do. I don't know. Hey? I'm sure they do. I'm Maybe. not sure because I think mm. I think after after Nganele, all of us were like, oh, okay, then it is what it is. I think all of us went there after Nganele. All of us was like, I. Iloko, iloko. Would you ever appear on um, a reality show or? I'd actually like one. Mm. I'd actually like one, like mm. one where, because at some point um, on TikTok, the season two ladies mm. invited us to have a, and an, don't, don't, I don't know what they call them, chat session mm. live. Mm. Oh, live. Mm. Yeah. So, mm. hey, when I got into that live, mm. everyone was like, Lona, mm. this is what I want to ask. Mm. Lona, this is what I want to ask. Mm. Lona, please say this. Mm-hmm. Lona, where are you now? Mm-hmm. What's happening? You know, and then at some point on my Facebook, everyone was like, okay, they formed a Lona support, support group. group. Yes. Wow. Which went on to my WhatsApp mm-hmm. where everyone got there and then like mm-hmm. froze because then most of them like didn't know what to ask, mm-hmm. didn't know what to say to me mm-hmm. on a daily basis. But I, I allowed them mm-hmm. to do that. Okay. I was like, it's fine. You can come through. There's my numbers. If you want to ask anything, ask, you yeah, know, because yeah. then I'm not now on TV, but yeah. we can still talk, you know. Mm-hmm. So most of them wanted to say so many things to me. Mm-hmm. I know that most of them still want to see then mm-hmm. what I'm doing now, yes, where, where I'm going now, now yeah. what my plans are i meet people that literally stand and cry when they see me like oh my gosh you're so strong you know mm-hmm. now to this mm-hmm. date everyone's like oh my gosh like so now what's gonna happen there's a lady who works at clicks at my mall mm-hmm. she will stand with me almost every day for an hour trying to find out why you mm-hmm. What's going to happen mm. now? But you are fine, right? Mm. My weight gains were worrying everyone. Mm. My weight loss were worrying everyone. You know, all of that. So mm. I think if I could just have like maybe my own reality show mm. whereby I can just play it out, you know, <laughs> lay my life out mm. there mm. so that we can then close the chapter properly. I think it would, yeah. Um, how would you rate your overall experience on both shows? Was it worth it? Looking back now, are you, you're glad you went It was. There. I'm glad, especially Makote, are you the one? Mm-hmm. I'm glad I went there. Mm-hmm. Ganele, I just wish Ganele had come at a later stage. Now, now you when know. you're a bit more settled. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. And then, um, you said you were in a relationship now. I am. And are you happy? Very. How, how are things going? I'm very happy. Mm-hmm. I'm very happy in my mm-hmm. relationship. Things mm-hmm. are going very lovely. Mm. We've got obviously like every other couple mm. proper up yeah, and down. But yes, oh, we yes, are happy. Yes, yes. You're still open to getting married, settling down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Are, <laughs> are you are you even open? Look at me assuming. I am. Mm. I am. Am I? Mm. <laughs> I don't Did, know. Were you scarred by the Obama? I was. Mm. I was. Also, I think I took like another decision after that because then now I stay with the guy mm, like okay, full time okay. so I literally have my family mm. I have a full family that mm. stays with me it's mm. myself my husband mm. because if he stays with me he's practically mm. that you know so I have that which also my mom still doesn't like mm. you know so yeah I have that and my two kids mm. so yeah I really like how the guy has 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 actually healed my heart you mm. know I like how he has um, kind of make me see that uh, not all is lost, yeah. you know, it's everything. Beautiful. Yeah, it's like beautiful. I like how he has made me feel. I like how he treats me. I like how he's available. I like how he's a very present person. Like he's a present mm-hmm. dad. Mm-hmm. He's a present partner. He's a present everything. Like he's not, he, he wants me, he wants to make, he makes me want to settle. Okay, um, what was I going to ask you? Um, yeah, so you you're with him now, and you're no longer with Obama. Did your did your current partner watch the show? Yeah, he, he did. did watch the show. He did. Okay. And what were his thoughts? We connected from the show. We connected from the show. Yeah, we connected okay. from the show. Okay. Most guys want to connect with me from the show. Oh, because yeah. everyone wants to be the hero. Everyone wants to be like, I did yes, you wrong. I, mm, I want to heal you. Mm, Come here. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. That. No, I'm glad. I'm glad you 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 feel like it was a worthwhile experience for it you. It was. Because you definitely. opened up your whole life, you put everything on the table, 
judgment, criticism. Mm, I actually am an open person. You are a very open person. I, I am an say. open yeah, person. You, are, you know, yeah. not shy about exposing your life to the no, world. Mm. No, I don't know what I would... Okay, well, there are obviously things that I wouldn't really expose. But mm. I, I mean, also, I feel like with something like a reality TV show, mm. people learn from your experience. Yeah, they do. There are so many people out there that are living their lives and they wish that they could know that someone else out there were there were so many women that reached out to me and said i relate mm. you know i relate to what you went through and i'm glad that i saw that someone else out there can handle it in a way that you did mm. you know so yeah mm. we I, I i i love reality shows i feel like reality tv is 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 a very great teacher mm. because i'm not you know you didn't say action to me and yeah. then i read a script yeah, yeah. no it's just your real life do you understand yeah. so yeah. if if cuz now my idea of love I always say I really believe in in TV that in TV love you mm. know that love where you're gonna wake me up in the morning do you want to do that's why I had an an entire <laughs> Fairy tale. and slow mm-hmm. more serious mm-hmm. in my head when mm-hmm. I, I I started my relationship with the mm-hmm. Obaba you know so I believe in such love I believe in the truthness and the depth of it mm-hmm. as much as when someone else is acting it out you know that it's not yeah. true you know. Yeah. But um, now that someone else can do such a thing on a reality TV show, mm. then you'll know that okay, cool, mm. it's it's true. People mm. do go through dirt. People mm. do go through things that Lona went through. You know, mm. yeah. And, and it's beautiful support that you'll get from women. You know, mm. it's beautiful support that you'll get from people from everywhere. People will 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 tell you. You know, you. I love I love the words I love you so much. Do you do you know how much of that I got after that show? Mm. People would reach out and be like, Leonard, you know that we love you, like we love you, mm. you know? Mm. And yeah, all mm. of that. Mm. Okay. In closing, what's your relationship with your mom like now? My relationship with my mom this year is perfect. Mm. I love it. I wouldn't mm. change it for anything in the world. I had the dingiest 2023. Mm. I had not recovered. I was your know, flat on my face. I had mm. fallen. Mm. But this year, I can see my mom saying to me that I'm here to pick you up. Mm. Okay. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you for being so open, so kind, so gracious, for making the time. Um, I think you're great on TV. You're natural. <laughs> you're very open. You. You're yourself. Um, yeah, man, I, I enjoyed watching you. I enjoyed watching you on the show. Um, I think you went through a lot. Um, but I'm just glad that you're back on the other side and things are looking up for you. So hopefully we'll see you on TV again in the future. I think we will. I think you've Hopefully. got a I think you've got a natural thing about you, Jane. Yeah. Okay. You do. You do. You do. Yeah. So so thanks, Lana. Thank you. Thank for, you for joining us today on the Honest Hour. Thank you. Okay.